by Cam. So this is gonna be a little different today. Recently, I got this box in the mail from Amazon and I know what's in it. And I tell you what, it's pretty exciting. What I'm gonna do is unbox this and then I'm gonna to explain to you why it relates to my 3D printing. But first, let's get this bad boy unboxed. My name is Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box. And inside this big Amazon box is this little itsy bitsy box just like this. And what this is, it's a Lux and Watt hidden camera Wi-Fi alarm clock. It's got 2.4 gigahertz on the Wi-Fi. It's got 1080p camera, motion detection, night vision. It pushes notifications to your cell phone and it's gonna be awesome. So I think we should open this bad boy up and get her set up. Okay, so like I said, this is a Lux and Watts Wi-Fi spy alarm clock. So we're gonna go ahead and get this unboxed to get the tape off. Go ahead and open it up. And what you got inside is a nicely packaged alarm clock. So go ahead and pull the alarm clock out. And this thing right away, I notice is very small. I mean, it fits literally in the palm of my hand. So that's pretty awesome. Also in the box, we have a, looks like a power cord. That is a USB. There you go. It does not come with the power brick part of this. And it also has drivers for a computer and an instruction manual. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a plug-in. We're gonna get this powered on and then we're gonna go ahead and get this set up for you. Okay, well I got this thing unboxed. I got it uh, figured out how to turn it on and uh, I got it working. I got it s connected and set up on the app and uh, I can watch it right from my phone, which is pretty awesome. Some quick things to note, on the back there is a panel that comes off if you use your fingernail or a small screwdriver and this is how you turn off or on this alarm clock and it's where you store your SD card. So you just pop the back panel off if you can actually get it off, there we go. So there's a battery behind here as well and the SD card goes in here and you can turn it off on with a switch that's right in here. So I had to figure that out because I could not get it to come on when I plugged it in and I didn't know that this back panel existed. It's not in the instructions. So check that out and don't forget about that. Also, you can put an SD card in here, which is pretty awesome, so you can record while you're away um, if you wanna save it. Uh, the time is set on here. You can probably just see blue flashing lights right now. And it is pretty cool. It is battery operated, so you have to charge it, or you can plug it in and let it sit plugged in as well. Um, in the instruction manual, there are a whole bunch of different advanced settings um, that you can go through and you can actually uh, monitor on a desktop as well. It came with that little driver disc. I didn't do that yet, but I thought it was pretty cool just to check out. So on the app, when you go in and you get it totally set up, you'll just go ahead and click on the camera itself and it'll pretty much just give you a shot of whatever the um, alarm clock is seeing. And I'll get a close up of this in just one second. Um, but what I'm gonna use it for, and what I thought it was super cool, is that I can actually use it f to actually turn around. Oops, let me start that again. Uh-oh, now I did it. <laughs> it went back to zeros, Caleb, after it dropped. That was pretty awesome. So I'm not sure what just happened, but it disconnected from my phone as well. It's trying to reconnect. It must have powered on and off or something after I dropped it. Thought we were rock and rolling and I had to go drop it. 
There we go. We're back online so we can start that whole sequence over. So what's really cool is once you connect it to the app on your phone, you can actually take this and move it anywhere because it also connects to your home Wi-Fi. So you can actually view this from anywhere you are. As long as you have it plugged in, it'll always stay powered. If you need to move it and uh, you just want to use it battery operated, you can unplug it and use it like that as well. What I'm going to use it for is I'm actually going to set it next to some printers and a new print space that we're building outside. And we're going to monitor the print space and the printers with this little camera. And it's pretty cool because it's not connected to Octoprint or any of that. So all I have to do is open an app and I can see everything, uh, not just individual Octoprint cameras. And I thought that was pretty awesome. So if I look at the camera currently right now, so let me come over by the camera over there. Okay, so I move the camera right over here and it's facing the 3D printer that's actually printing right now, as you can see on the right side of the screen. But this is what I wanted to show you. So I clicked in and now we can actually see on the screen of my phone, we can watch it in live time. So that's super cool. And, and you get an alarm clock as well. You can go through and you can set the alarm, you can watch the time, and there's a whole bunch of settings in the device settings of, uh, of this. You can reboot it, you can reset the camera, you can do miscellaneous settings and, and turn LEDs on and all that good stuff. But the best part is, all you have to do is click that button, it'll show you what's on the screen almost instantly. So if I turn it a long way, you can get a little better of a screen there and you can kind of see what it's showing. And it actually works very well. This thing is pretty cool. I know it's uh, multi-function since you got the alarm and the camera, um, but it is pretty awesome. So I just wanted to check out something a little different today than just your typical 3D printer or 3D printer accessory. This right here is that Luxenwatt's hidden camera Wi-Fi alarm clock. Like I said before, it's 1080p. It connects to your Wi-Fi. You use it on an app on your phone. There is a rechargeable battery in here. That's why it's not plugged in. And you can see it's on right now. And it's pretty dang cool. Uh, the little spy thing was a little bit weird for me to see in the, in the description, but it is pretty cool. It's a spy cam, you know? A uh, little James Bondish, if you will. Well, I'm gonna put this thing in the shop so we can watch the shop and we can watch the printers and we can have a little fun with that. Uh, and anytime I wanna check out my spy cam, I'll be able to do that on my phone. So this is a kind of a quick review, but I have been using it for a little while and I do like it. I definitely recommend it. So check out that on the Lux and Watts page. I'll put the links below. They have a couple other little spy uh, camera things. Um, one is in a phone charger and one is the size of a phone charger. So they're kind of cool, they're really little cameras, and they work pretty well, and they all work on the same app, which is really cool, because then if you have multiple, you can check them right on your phone, from anywhere you are. Anyways, a little bit different, I hope you learned something today, and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video today, it was a little bit different, if you did, give me the thumbs up. Click that subscribe button below and click the little bell over here if you want to be notified the next great time a video comes out. Please check us out on our Patreon and uh, PayPal links if you want to help out that way. And as always, you guys rock.